Hey y'all, my name is Ben Meredith and I'm the senior support technician at GiveWP, the most robust donation platform for WordPress websites. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can foster a deeper connection between your donors and your organization by giving your donors the ability to give in memory of or in honor of a loved one. Before we get started, one thing to note is that you do need to have give installed on a WordPress website, as well as one of our bundles which includes the tributes add-on in order to get the most out of this tutorial. First, I'll walk you through how you can set up tributes to only display on one donation form on your site. Next, I'll walk you through the various options on the back end to give donors only the options you want to give them. Finally, I'll show you what it looks like on the front end of the site when a donor opts to give in honor of or in memory of their mom. So let's get started. First, be aware again that you have to have the Give Donation plugin as well as the Give Tributes add-on, which is included in all of our bundles in order for these options to be available to you on the back end of your site. So first, let's go check out the settings. Globally or site-wide, I don't actually want to enable tributes uh, for the purposes of this tutorial because what we're going to be creating is a Mother's Day form uh, that allows you to accept donations in honor of or in tribute to your mom. But I don't want all my other forms to have tributes on them, so I'm actually going to leave this disabled. If I were to click enabled, it opens up all these other options, which I'll show you in just a moment how you can customize that on just one form. But for now, we're going to leave tributes as disabled globally. And that's because I've got all of these other forms, right? I've got an end of year giving form, a general fund. And then this is my test form that I use for testing out um, the donations. But I'm going to add a new form. And this one's the Mother's Day form. It's 2019, Mother's Day 2019 form. And then you can, I want to make it a set donation form, $77. But I also want to give people the ability to give between 10 and a million dollars, $999,999.99. So now they're able to give $77 or any custom amount uh, based on uh, their personal preferences there. Now let's check out the tributes options. You see here, I could have gone with global option, but as we just saw, my global option is to disable. Global meaning site-wide option is to disable the tributes add-on. So if I go with global, no tribute will show up on this page. I could also disable it. That would make it not show up if I had globally enabled it. Um, instead, I'm gonna customize. When I customize, similar to on the main uh, settings page, it opens up various options. A real high level view here is you've got the option to name it. So in honor of or in memory of or for or because of or what, however you want to uh, label that. But that's the label that will show up on the front end. And then down through here, we've got all of the different options uh, for that. Over on the side, we have two options mail a card and e-cards. For the purposes of this tutorial, I don't want to mail a card, but know that you do have the ability to have someone physically print out a paper card um, that uh, can be sent to the person being honored or in tribute of, or sent to someone else. For the purposes of this one, I don't actually want to enable that, so let's disable that and go to e-cards. I do want to enable that. I'll tell you more about all of these options in just a moment, but first let's go back to the main tributes options. So the tribute text, I'm going to say in honor of and add that in mem in memory of. And that way we've got uh, the ability for donors to give both in honor of or in memory of their moms. And then 
you can say dedicate this donation. Um, we can change that. Um, dedicate this donation to your mom. The prepended label enables the tribute prepended label option that allows you to set a prepended label to customize how you address the honoree. Um, and so you can say the name of the honoree or the, you know, the mom's name uh, for this, for the purposes of this one, I am going to leave it disabled or enabled, but you can also disable it so that it just says first name, last name um, on the front end of the form. And I'll show you that in just a minute. mom's first name mom's last name last name field you can either make it required or not required a lot of times we'll have people that do for example tributes to uh, their pet or something like that pets don't generally have a last name and so we didn't want to require the last name but if you do want to require a last name field you can change that there I am not going to require it because you can name Name mom whatever you want to name her. Uh, notify option. This is whether or not you want the donor to choose the method, the admin to choose the method, or no notification at all. If I choose no notification, then these mail a card and e-cards options, which we'll go over in a moment, won't be there at all. But if I choose um, admin chooses method, then I choose e-card. It says it's disabled right now, but that's because we have not saved our settings. Um, notify method e-card, and then we can put above, below, wherever. I like it above the payment options uh, because they're still deciding if they want to donate at that point. Display style is a radio, drop down, or buttons, and that's the field that displays the donation forms for the tributes options listed above. And so all of these options can either be displayed as radios, as a drop down, or as buttons. I'm going to stick with radio. So now I've got all of the main tribute settings there because it makes more sense to save it and then continue continue working on it. Um, you could just go go back to eCards, uh, but for now I want to do that. So eCard is now enabled. It shows you because I saved the settings there. Uh, mail a card is still disabled which is fine. I don't want to mail a card. I do want to send an e-card. So enabled and then custom message is either enabled or disabled. Let's enable that. So that gives the donor the ability to write a custom message. Mom, thank you so much for raising me. This donation is in your honor. Love, Bob. So, and you can adjust the message length there. Don't want to get too crazy or it will overflow the e-card, um, field uh, and make your e-card uh, spill over into a second page. This e-card email subject, by default, it's going to say Bob just gave $77 in honor of or in memory of, based on which one Bob picked on the front page there, in honor of Mom, in honor of Barbara, however the full name has been filled out uh, on the, the form. And then you can enable multiple e-card recipients, and that gives you the ability to add extra recipients and not just one. Uh, but by default, let's leave it disabled because mom probably only has one email address. And then, again, we can customize whether or not the last name is required or not required uh, on the card recipient. Um, and then you can add a logo. Add a header graphic um, and then customize the e-card content so dear mom or Barbara a donation was made in honor of by Bob the $77 donation that Bob made to Mother's Day 2019 fund in your name will help our cause and be put to good use making a difference and then here's the donor message, which will output whatever the donor put uh, on there with our thanks site name. You can change all of this. These are, you know, default 
but you can add in any of these uh, tribute tags or email tags here um, that uh, will do that. Or if you just want to hard code in your name, you can put in uh, your name there. And so there you have it. Once you get all of that set up, then you can preview the e-card here. Um, you need to save it first, so click Update. and scroll back to the bottom preview the e-card which opens up in a new um, new tab um, and right now there's no e-card donations that have been found but once there are you can preview actual content from a donor um, so that's what it looks like and then on the front end of this form once we update it we can view the form and here you have it Mother's Day uh, 2019 dedicate this donation to your mom yes please you can either do in honor of or in memory of put in mom's first name mom's last name personalized message and here's the recipient recipient of the email recipient last name and their email address if I had selected multiple recipients it would have added in a little plus here and you could add more uh, recipients but then that gives people the way to donate in honor of, in this case, mom, uh, to say thanks not only to mom, but to the organization. So you as an organization are helping to establish a closer relationship with your donors uh, because mom is being thanked for uh, this donation. If you run into any other issues, I'd love to help out in the comments below. Thanks so much uh, for taking the time to watch. So, as I mentioned there during the tutorial, I would love to help out. So if you've got questions, comments, or even other creative ways that you're using tributes or any of our other add-ons to help maximize that connection between your organization and your donor, I'd love to hear about it. Comment below, and don't forget, if you haven't already, pick up a copy of the tributes add-on, which is included in our Plus and Pro bundles. Have a great day.